Hi guys, sorry I haven't been posting anything in a long time after my uh, paintball tank uh, nail gun video. So uh, this is a new project, uh, how to control a 240 volt electric heater with a 24 volt programmable Wi-Fi enabled thermostat. So the main issue is the uh, thermostat I'm using is RTH 6580 by Honeywell. Uh, this thing is made for 24 volt systems, 24 volt AC systems. So made for heat pumps, uh, uh, oil based heaters and so on. It's not capable of directly switching 20, 240 volt loads. The heater here is a five kilowatt heater. I can switch it between five, four and three. I use it in four kilowatt mode uh, just to uh, put a little bit lower load on the, uh, on the wires. The wire I'm using is, it's a 12 gauge uh, BX wire, uh, also called the AC90. You can see it right here. And to facilitate the switching, I'm using this 20 amp contactor. Uh, this contactor is rated for 20 amps inductive loads and 30 amps resistive loads. Uh, when you buy this, uh, this is effectively a relay. The primary difference between contactors and relays is a power rating as well as um, the switching mechanism is slightly different. Uh, in relays, the uh, uh, the piece that goes between the two contacts, which is called the throw, uh, the throw is permanently connected to uh, the either supply or the load, whereas in the contactor, uh, each of the terminals is actually disconnected from the throw when the uh, contactor is, dis is disengaged. Also, it has some uh, anti-arcing uh, features and and so on. So it, it's just a beefier contactor is a beefier relay that's designed for switching high power loads. So um, what I'm doing here is I have a 24 volt transformer. The transformer feeds the thermostat and the way you connect the transformer is like this. One side of the transformer, the, the secondary winding, goes to R and RC terminal. Let me focus that. There you go. So, one side of the transformer goes to R and RC. Second side of the transformer goes to C. Uh, these two, if you take that jumper out, this, this thermostat, this particular model, will not turn on. So I guess it actually draws uh, power by default from RC and not R. So. Uh, so that's a transformer, then the second black wire is actually one side of the winding of the contactor and the red wire is the W terminal right here up top. So that's a W terminal, that's red wire, which is, W means heat in HVAC and uh, that goes to the second uh, end of the uh, contactor winding of the contactor coil. So the when you buy this from your local electrical supplier or industrial supplier, make sure it's rated correctly. If you have baseboard heater, baseboard heater is purely resistive load, whereas um, something like this will be a combination of resistive and inductive. Of course, the inductance of this shaded pole motor is tiny, but you still have to allow for it uh, just so you don't have excessive arcing. And if you do arcing, if you do have arcing, that the contacts are able to withstand it and the contactor is able to suppress it as well. So uh, also the wire gauge, make sure you pick the right wire gauge. This is a uh, uh, 12 gauge um, BX wire or uh, also called AC90. Uh, it goes directly to my panel and I'm using 30 amp fuses for this uh, 20 amp load. So the actual power consumption is uh, uh, 20.9 amps at 5 kilowatts, so I don't run this heater at 5 kilowatt mode, I'm switching it to 4. And uh, at 4 kilowatts, this, uh, the contact, the contacts heat up by about 1 or 2 degrees centigrade Celsius. So that's pretty good, uh, no overheating. So let me show you how this works. The heat setting is uh, 10 degrees right now. Uh, you'll hear the loud bang that's contactor engaging. So, contactor is on. 
and the heat is working. So I can use my phone. Man, oh, the app crashed. All right, there we go. Okay, let me refocus this. So the app looks like this, and submit. And bang, the uh, contactor goes off. So, to do this, you need a 24 volt 40 VA uh, transformer. You need a 20 amp or 30 amp contactor, uh, two pole. Um, you need some 12 gauge wire, and this is for five kilowatt or less heater for short runs. If you have really long runs, you'll have to up the gauge. Uh, ask your local electrician or hire electrician to do that. Uh, this control wire is um, uh, 18 gauge solid and uh, the thermostat is uh, RTH 6580. And that's how you use a 24 volt thermostat to control a 240 volt heater. So yeah.